What happens when one of the world's most advanced fighter jets receives a power upgrade from one of the greatest engine manufacturers on the planet? What happens when Sweden's Gripen E, already known as the world's smartest and most cost-efficient 4.5 gen fighter, suddenly gets an engine solution that boosts power, cuts costs, and threatens America's multi-billion dollar F-35 sales across the globe. Today, we're diving into exactly how Rolls-Royce just transformed the Gripen E into the Pentagon's worst nightmare. The Gripen E wasn't supposed to be a major threat to U.S. air power dominance. Yet it quietly became one of the Pentagon's biggest headaches. Long before any Rolls-Royce engine upgrades, the Gripen E already challenged the American defense model by offering something the U.S. couldn't. High-end capability at a low-end cost. It can take off from short roads, operate with minimal support, and turn around in minutes using just a handful of technicians, making it ideal for smaller nations that can't afford massive air bases, or billion-dollar maintenance hangars. Its advanced sensors, electronic warfare suite, and network-centric design let it see first, shoot first, often outperforming larger and more expensive jets in real-world scenarios. The Gripen E proved that a nation doesn't need the F-35 to have top-tier air power, and that alone made it a threat to the Pentagon years before any engine upgrades. Rolls-Royce, the same company powering the Eurofighter Typhoon, Britain's nuclear submarines, and some of the most reliable turbines on Earth, has stepped in with a technological breakthrough directly benefiting the Gripen E. Sweden needed an engine solution with more thrust, stronger heat management, checkmark, lower IR signature, checkmark, higher energy efficiency, checkmark, simplified logistics for small air forces, Rolls-Royce delivered exactly that. Their upgrades boosted engine durability, lifespan, cooling performance, fuel efficiency, heat suppression. These upgrades directly improve stealth, agility, and long-range endurance. The Pentagon was not expecting this. The Rolls-Royce enhancements don't just upgrade the Gripen E. They elevate it into a new class of fighter. The improvements to thrust, cooling, fuel efficiency, and heat signature give the aircraft sharper acceleration, longer endurance, and a stealthier profile, all while keeping its famously low operating cost intact. These upgrades make the Gripen E even more dangerous in beyond visual range combat, allowing it to carry heavier payloads maintain higher energy in dogfights, and stay airborne longer than before. The improved thermal management also reduces the jet's IR signature, giving it better survivability against modern heat-seeking missiles, and making it harder for enemy sensors to lock on. The Gripen E didn't just get better. It became a far more compelling alternative to American jets, reshaping the global air power landscape. The Pentagon isn't worried because the Gripen E looks impressive. It's worried because the jet threatens America's control over the global fighter market. The U.S. relies heavily on the F-35 program to maintain political influence, long-term maintenance contracts, and strategic leverage over Allied air forces. But the Gripen E, especially with its new engine enhancements, offers nations a cheaper, independent, and highly capable alternative that Washington cannot restrict or veto. What truly scares the Pentagon is this. The Gripen E represents a shift away from American dependency. A fighter jet that is modern, powerful, export-friendly, inexpensive to operate, and not tied to U.S. political strings is a direct threat to the military and economic ecosystem the Pentagon has built for decades. The Gripen E isn't just a jet. It's a challenge to U.S. dominance. That's why the Pentagon is nervous. 
The Pentagon wasn't just surprised by the grip and ease engine upgrade, it was technically shocked. The improvements delivered by Rolls-Royce weren't small tweaks. They fundamentally changed the aircraft's performance profile in ways the US did not anticipate. The upgraded engine brings higher thrust, giving the Gripen E faster acceleration, better climb rates, and more energy in dogfights. Enhanced cooling and thermal management sharply reduce the aircraft's infrared signature, making it harder for modern SAMs and heat-seeking missiles to track. Combined with Sweden's advanced Arexis electronic warfare suite, the Gripen E becomes even harder to detect, jam, or lock onto. The technical shock is that the Gripen E now operates with the efficiency of a fourth generation fighter, the survivability of a fifth generation jet, and at a cost the US simply cannot match. That combination is exactly what the Pentagon did not want to see. The Gripen E's new engine upgrades don't just improve one aircraft, they disrupt the global balance of air power. As performance, efficiency, and survivability jump forward, countries that previously relied on U.S. jets suddenly have a credible, affordable, high-end alternative that Washington can't control. This creates a ripple effect across military alliances, defense markets, and geopolitical influence. Within NATO, smaller nations could field advanced Gripen E fleets without being financially crushed, balancing power against larger members and creating a more independent European defense structure. Outside NATO, countries like India, Brazil, the Philippines, and Colombia gain a modern fighter without U.S. restrictions, increasing their strategic flexibility. In the long term, the upgrade strengthens Saab's position, boosts competition in the fighter jet market, and reduces America's monopoly over high-end air power. The ripple effect is clear. The Gripen E's evolution doesn't just challenge a jet, it challenges an entire system of U.S. defense influence worldwide. So what happens when a lightweight, agile, brutally efficient Swedish fighter jet is powered by one of the most advanced engine technologies on Earth? <sighs> you get a jet that beats 4th gen fighters, challenges 5th gen jets, costs a fraction of the F-35, and isn't controlled by Washington. This is why the Pentagon is worried. This is why the F-35 program feels threatened. And this is why Rolls-Royce just transformed the Gripen E into America's worst nightmare.